Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise him. Praise him, children of God. Praise him. Begin to magnify the Lord. Begin to worship and hallow his name. Glory and honor and power be unto the ancients of days. Hallelujah. Above Father be exalted. Above Father be exalted above all the earth. Hallelujah. Welcome, brethren, to another February Fired Up episode where we hope to experience a new flame and fresh fire with Jesus Christ. In tonight's episode, we'll be getting into an, a word of exhortation and our scripture reading is taken from Romans 8 verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. What's so funny is that sometimes we think that because of our murky past, because of the things that we've endured in life, because of the things people have said to us or we've said to people, the words that have come out of our mouth, the things that we've learned, different habits that we've picked up along the way, that we are unredeemable that we aren't good enough for the kingdom of god there are many people sitting around thinking they are not good enough so why even bother to try and give jesus christ a chance jesus knows your heart he knows all things well and it's not a case of oh i know your heart that you are wicked and you should stay that way no it's a case of i already knew you before you were knitted in your mother's womb. I already knew you. I knew you were going to do those things. I knew you were going to go through this. I knew you were going to go through that. While I was on the cross, I closed my eyes in that hour and I saw your face in 2024. I knew the decisions you were going to take. I knew you were going to feel like you weren't good enough, like you weren't meant to be in my fold. I knew you were going to feel rejected because of certain situations. I knew you. I knew you and I know you and I will know you. That is what the Lord is saying. Jesus knows all things well. He knows us inside out and outside in. He knows every thought that we're going to think before we think it. He knows the words that are before they uh, even formulated in the back of our heads he knows us he knows the thread that makes us i think one of the episodes we discussed the fact that the god of intricacies knows and numbers the very strands of here on our head you understand he knew you he knew every single interval that you were going to falter and he still carried the cross those 82 miles, he still carried the cross for you. He was spat on for you. 
every stripe he took to his body for your healing. He knew. And he did it anyway. He was mocked, humiliated. He got the worst death for you. Every drop of blood when he sits on the right hand side of the Father in heaven, he counts it all gain so that he could win us back. So no matter what you go through in life, know that Jesus knows what you are going through and I hope you feel a bit less lonely with that fact. Know that whatsoever it is that you've done, there is an advocate at the right hand side of the heavenly father. And his name is Jesus Christ. And he knows everything that you are doing, that you did already, that you're about to do. And he's advocated for you. And he is Sending forth his knowledge so that you are convicted of the fact that he knows and that you don't have to stay like that. You don't have to stay in your sin. You don't have to wallow in self-pity thinking that all hope is lost when things don't go according to your plan or according to your will. You don't have to wallow in self-pity. You don't have to sit down and mope and say, poor me. I've heard stories, many stories, many testimonies of people who something bad happened to them years ago and at the time they were ready to curse God. But years later, that same thing that they were ready to curse God for, they praised God for. Because guess what? It turned out to be something that ended up saving them in the end. All things work together for good to them that love God. Whether you are currently walking around in sin, waiting to be birthed by the Holy Spirit, or you are already called from sin to grace and getting up every day to die to your flesh, there is hope that any bad circumstance today will work out for your good tomorrow and in the long run. Don't sit down and wallow in self-pity. Don't sit down and feel sorry for yourself when things don't go your way or according to plan. Jesus knows it wasn't going to work out. Jesus knows all things. He knoweth all things well. And know this for sure. If you've never heard anybody in your life, whether it's your family, whether you grew up with family members who never knew how to express love openly, whether it's people who, you know, All they can do is shout, yell, scream, kick, punch. Know this, that the 40 stripes to his back was worth it for your healing. And his death, burial, and resurrection was the biggest I love you anybody could ever give. So I want for you guys to think upon the fact that Jesus knows your struggles. He knows every pain. In fact, he's born pain, guilt, and shame for you. He's born everything for you. And he bears it with you. He walks beside you through your circumstances. Just like the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, had the fourth man in the fire with them walking around, that they were not harmed, that not even a hair on their body was scorched because the love of God surrounded them. Know this, that you are loved with such a fearless love. By the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah. He is there with you through whatever it is. Come what may, Jesus is there with you. He is the fourth man in the fire. He's the God who sees. He's the God who provides. He's the God who sanctifies. He knows all things well. He knows everything that you could ever think upon, that could ever worry you. Cast your cares on him because he cares for you.
and trust and believe that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above everything you could ever hope, think about, dream about, imagine. He knows your strengths. He knows your weaknesses. He knows your necessities. Call upon him. Call upon his name. Call him by his name. He knows all things well. He's waiting on you to call upon his name. He knows all things well and he's waiting on you to call upon his name. Behold, he stands at the door and knock. Allow for him to come in. Let him in. Let him in. Call upon his name and say, come in, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Come in. He knows you need him. That was just what was led or laid upon my heart, rather, to share with you tonight, brethren. I don't know who needs this, but whoever this message is for, Jesus knows all things well. He knows what you need. He knows what you're going through. He is there with you. He sits in the corner with you.